Hey everyone, today we're going to walk through one of the most fundamental ways to value a stock, the dividend discount model. It sounds complex, but it's actually quite simple when you break it down. Let's work through a classic example. Imagine a company just paid its annual dividend, which was $2, we'll call this D0. The company is stable and you expect its dividend to grow at a steady 4% per year forever. This is our growth rate, or G. Finally, based on the risk of this stock, you decide you need to earn an 11% return on your investment. This is your required rate of return, or R. The question is, what is a fair price to pay for this stock today, or P0? To find the price, we use the Gordon Growth Model formula. In simple terms, the formula is, your price today is equal to your first future dividend payment, all divided by your required rate less the growth rate. This formula basically says that the value of a stock is the total of all its future dividends, discounted back to what they're worth today. But you might notice we have a problem. The formula needs D1, next year's dividend, but we only have D0, this year's dividend. So our first step is to calculate D1. We need to find out what the dividend will be one year from now. To do that, we just take the most recent dividend, D0, and grow it by our growth rate, G. D1 is the dividend we are solving for. D0 is the dividend that was just paid, which is $2. 1 plus G is the growth factor. We use 1 to include the original dividend amount and add G, our 4%, to calculate the growth on top of it. Now we know the dividend one year from now will be $2.08. Now we can solve for the price. Uh, let's return to our main formula. P0 is the price of the stock today that we're trying to find. D1 is the $2.08 we just calculated. R is our required rate of return, which is 11%. G is the constant growth rate, which is 4%. Now we plug everything in and the final division gives us our price. P0 equals $29.71, which would be the fair price to pay for this stock today. If it's trading for less than that, it might be a good buy. And if it's trading for more, it might be overvalued. And that's how you use the dividend discount model.